As software engineers, we're constantly learning and adapting to stay ahead in our field. Today, I want to share my experience studying and passing the AWS Security Specialty Certification. So if you're a software engineer considering this certification, stick around as I will discuss the pros, cons, and answer the all-important question. Is it worth it for you? The AWS Security Specialty Certification aims to validate your knowledge and skills in securing workloads on the AWS platform, meaning your ability to secure data, to secure infrastructure, and applications hosted on AWS. I've got mine earlier this year because although I'm trying to branch out to other cloud providers, AWS is still my bread and butter. But AWS is not the only cloud provider to offer a security-oriented certification, by the way. Microsoft Azure, for example, offers the Microsoft Azure Security Engineer, and GCP offers a similar cert called Cloud Professional Security Engineer Certification. And here's a quick comparison I've made with the help of our friend GPT-4 of the three in terms of benefits, complexity, price, and relevance in the market. This is a prompt I learned to use recently. So I just ask GPT to summarize in a table format, and then I give it a link to a page. So here I asked it to summarize the difference between the three certifications that we talked about. And we get a nice table with all the different information. And now, let's dive into the pros and cons of the AWS Security Specialty Certification. Starting by the pros, in-demand skill set. It is 2023, and AWS is still the market leader in cloud computing, making certifications like this highly sought after by employers. In fact, according to global knowledge, 45% of organizations struggle to find IT professionals with the right cloud skills. Second, it deepens your AWS knowledge. The certification process strengthens your existing expertise with AWS services and security best practices. For example, you learn how to set up AWS WAF, the web application firewall, to protect your applications against common web-based threats. And the third reason has to do with earning potential. Because security is critical in our ever-increasing digital world, and certified professionals often command a higher salary. AWS Certified Security Specialty, which means that AWS Certified Security Specialists earn an average salary of around $114,000, according to Zip Recruiter. Now let's talk about the not-so-great stuff. First is its limited scope. This certification is specific to AWS environments, which might be a drawback if you work in a multi-cloud environment that utilizes Azure uh, or Google Cloud Platform, or if you are one of those who lose sleep about vendor lock-in. The second not so great reason here is time and cost commitment, because it takes a significant amount of time and money to prepare for and pass the certification exam. The exam fee is $300, and you might also want to invest in prep resources such as courses and books and practice exam. I also want to mention that if you pass a previous exam, you know that you will get a 50% voucher. So you can always use that voucher towards a specialty certification to get a very nice discount. Now, personally, I took a couple of months to prepare for this one as I followed the same plan I always do for my all previous certs. I start by Stefan Marek's course on Udemy, and then I jump on a practice exam course. Usually, I go with John Bonzo's, but I don't think he released one for the security specialty yet, so I just went with another one. Also, I'm not paid. I have no affiliations with these people. This is just what I do. And the last so great thing uh, on my list is the risk of obsolescence. With the rapid pace of technology evolution, the certification and or some of its aspects might become quickly uh, outdated, requiring continuous learning and updates to stay relevant in the field. But it's not something that is relevant only to the security specialty. It's something that you will have to go through with all the certifications out there. After weighing the pros and cons, is the AWS security specialty certification worth it? Well, generally speaking, it's worth it if you work in or aspire to work in a security-focused role on the AWS platform. This certification shows employers that you have all the necessary skills and experience to bring value from day one, making you a valuable asset to any team. However, some may 
argue uh, that the certification isn't essential for all software engineers. You know, if your primary focus is on software development, for example, and not on security, then the certification might not be as valuable to you. Additionally, uh, some professionals believe that hands-on experience and real-world projects are more important than certification credentials. Now, my personal take on this is to look for as many hands-on slash real-world security-related projects to contribute to and learn from. And only when you think you're ready to validate that knowledge you acquired, you can then use the certification to sort of sort of add a badge or a ribbon on your chest, sending a clear message to employers about your expertise in the field. So again, something we've been saying a lot in the channel, don't use certifications to gain knowledge, choose them to validate the knowledge that you already have, that you already acquired by doing real world projects. Now let's talk about the exam. Well, I was surprised that the exam was not as hard as I anticipated. I mean, of course, easy and hard, these are highly subjective matters. And I've been building, deploying, and maintaining workloads on AWS for more than a decade now. But I was expecting the questions, given uh, it is a specialty certification, I was expecting the questions to be tougher than the SA Pro Cert. But it wasn't the case. The Solutions Architect Professional is still by far the hardest cloud certification exam I had to go through. I also noticed how the questions were not that different from the DevOps Engineer certification exam, albeit more security focused. Now, who should take it? Well, this is a harder question than it seems. Security is paramount in the cloud, but is the security specialty cert the only one that touches on security principles? Absolutely not. Both the SysOps Administrator Associate and the DevOps Engineer Professional cover a lot of security concepts, for example. So this is a certification you want to acquire only if you want to dive deeper in cloud security concepts because of your job. Say you want to become a DevSecOps engineer, for example. I personally took it because I wanted to send a clear message to my customers, clients, and potential employers that security is on top of my list. And also because my 50% voucher was about to expire and I've already passed all the associate and professional level certs, so this was the most obvious choice. That's not to say I didn't learn new things when studying for it. I actually found the AWS Security Specialty Cert to broaden my knowledge in terms of best practices of securing AWS infrastructure and applications. So while it may not be necessary for everyone, it is incredibly valuable for those in security-focused roles. Now, to sum up, the AWS Security Specialty Certification is an excellent choice for software engineers working with AWS and who want to specialize in security. However, it's crucial to evaluate your own career path and priorities before committing to the certification. And I'm also working on a video about a request a lot of you have been making for a while now, which certification to pursue for a given career path. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Okay, hopefully this video helped you make an informed decision about whether the AWS Security Specialty Certification is right for you. If you found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.